Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. U.S. President Donald Trump has proposed a new nuclear missiles treaty that has the potential to include India as he delivered the State of the Union address to a joint session of Congress. Defending his decision to withdraw from the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces INF, treaty with Russia, he said in the speech Tuesday night, perhaps we can negotiate a different agreement, adding China and others, or perhaps we can't, in which case, we will outspend and out-innovate all others by far. The INF treaty signed by President Ronald Reagan and Soviet Communist Party General Secretary Mikhail Gorbachev banned land-based missiles of 1,000 to 5,000 kilometers. Some of the Prithvi and Agni-class missiles in India's arsenal could fall under the ambit of such a treaty, as well as some of Pakistan's Babur, Shaheen and Ghori missiles. Trump defended his decision to withdraw from the INF treaty saying, Russia repeatedly violated its terms. The Defense Acquisition Council, the Indian Ministry of Defense's MOD, principal procurement body chaired by Defense Minister Nirmala Sitharaman, has approved the procurement of six diesel-electric attack submarines under the so-called Project 75 India Project 75I, on January 31. The approval is the first move to revive the Project 75i acquisition program which has been in the pipeline for over a decade and was first approved by the MOD in November 2007. It basically amounts to revalidation of the acceptance of necessity, AON, first granted to P75i over a decade ago, a MOD source was quoted as saying by the Economic Times on February 1. The AON note is the first official step in procuring a new defense platform. It will be the second project following the procurement of 111 armed light naval utility helicopters new, and 24 naval multirole helicopters NMRH, under the MOD Strategic Partnership SP, model under the framework of the Defense Procurement Procedure 2016. The principal aim behind the new guidelines is to facilitate the manufacturing of military hardware locally as part of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's Make in India policy. A parliamentary panel has raised concern over the Defense Ministry not including the transfer of technology TOT, clause in a deal to procure an advanced maneuvering system for the Air Force that enhances safety during air combat exercises. The Air Combat Maneuvering Instrumentation ACMI, system, a technology available with only a few manufacturers in the world, was purchased from BVR Systems Limited, Israel which was the original equipment manufacturer, and stood as L1, lowest bidder, vendor for the system. The ACMI system consists of two major components, one is the Airborne Implementation System ISPOD, which is externally mounted on the aircraft. The pod interfaces with aircraft systems and records the aircraft data for its transmission to the ground station. The second component is Ground Exploitation debriefing, station, JIS, which defines pre-flight mission-specific parameters, real-time monitoring of combat missions and post-flight analysis and debriefing. India's latest communication satellite GSAT-31 was successfully launched by European launch services provider Ariane Space Rocket from French Guiana in the early hours of Wednesday. Blasting off from Ariane Launch Complex at Kourou, a French territory located in northeastern coast of South America at 2.31 a.m. IST, the Ariane 5 vehicle injected XOT-31 into the orbit in a flawless flight lasting about 42 minutes. It gives me great pleasure on the successful launch of XOT-31 spacecraft on board Ariane 5. This is the third mission for ISRO in 2019, Indian Space Research Organizations, ISRO, Satish Daw and Space Center. SDSE, Director S. Pandian said at Kuru soon after the launch. Congratulations to Ariane Space on the successful launch and precise injection of satellite into the orbit. The Indian Army's bid to procure indigenously manufactured high-altitude equipment and clothing for its troops in the mountainous parts seems to be gasping for air. 
the army had floated the proposal to choose indigenous manufacturers in order to cut down on import costs by as much as Rs 2.5 crore every six months. About 40,000 soldiers deployed in high-altitude duties at various locations. There is a turnaround every six months thus keeping the requirement of equipment almost perpetual for the force. The force needs lightweight clothing with thermal effectiveness to be able to handle temperatures as low as minus 10 degrees Celsius. Given the weather conditions and the toll they can take on the physical health of the soldiers, Army Brass has laid down strict guidelines, said an officer who was privy to discussions in the matter. Several product lineups have since then been tested in the field. These include gear such as carabiners, rock pitons, summer suits, ascenders and descenders and also an avalanche victim detector. Episode के लिए इतना ही अगर इस वीडियो को लेकर आपका कोई सुझाव या सजेशंस हो तो उसे कमेंट सेक्शन में शेयर जरूर करें अगर आपने इस वीडियो को लाइक और शेयर नहीं किया है तो इसे लाइक और शेयर करें और चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करना ना भूलें